Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Black Girls Gamers has sent a cease and desist against Doc Park Place about the article that we spoke about recently in a video. This is uh, absolutely absurdity, and we're going to take a look at it. Now, before I get fully into the video, subscribe to the channel. There's tons to show here. There's many, many different faucets moving around on this situation with the Black Girls Gamers and Back Park Place and a cease and desist. There's so much to show here. Subscribe today because this isn't going to be anywhere close to over, and we're going to be covering what we can on this channel. Well, there's not many stories out there for this, but Bounding in the Comics picking it up now. Black Girl Gamers announced legal action against entertainment news outlet That Park Place over recent reports suggesting video game diversity consultancy company engages in discriminatory hiring practices. And this was all over a single tweet where looking for black women content creators to make Dungeons and Dragons content for some potential brand work hit us up. So this is where it started, but then it snowballed into something completely different. Um, Park Place puts out the, their story saying this kind of looks like you're being discriminatory, only looking for one type of person to hire for this. But then when you look into the company a little bit further you you sit there and you start to you start to piece together who they are what they're doing and they just roll forward with only having a 100 minority operated site on top of that they also run a facebook page that our facebook group that has over 10,000 people that have signed up for it but it's all women and they all have to be black you also have to apply and then you have to prove prove your worth recently there was also someone that was ousted by their company they left the company because they didn't share the values of the company we'll get into that but this is an old article i found from vice we need to have our stories the black girls gamers fighting for inclusion J. Anna Lopez online community Black Girls Gamers is a safe space for women of color who f uh, feel otherwise excluded from gaming. So we've seen this. There's some universities in the States. There's areas where they are now segregating themselves and saying, no, you're not allowed in here unless you're part of us. And this segregation is what's causing this this uproar it's what's causing the problems today but just in here uh lopez an author and a blogger says she created the black girls gamers for selfish reasons to be honest and what is in there well <laughs> there's a lot of money and that's what they're going for right now they're trying to drum up a lot of money and get that specialty out there all together. This article goes on to say groups like Black Girls Gaming may serve a much needed purpose in gaming, but Lopez says that these platforms do only so much. Bigger companies need to start considering the needs of people of color. A lot of the time, she says, black women are not the main protagonists. They're only an option for it. So they want to be front and center. They want the special treatment. They don't want you to have the option. They want to say you or the black persons of color at this point is the protagonist. They're trying to force you to play these characters like this. And this is what everyone's against for with Sweet Baby Inc. And the, the whole diversity push for these video games is that they're they're not keeping the options there. They're not keeping the options. They're trying to force it and ram it down everyone's throat. And this is an article back from 2017. Now, the cease and desist, uh, they did announce it on Twitter. As our attorney, Ron Coleman, stated yesterday, John Torrent received a cease and desist from Black Girls Gamers. That cease and desist goes farther than anything I have personally ever seen in chilling freedom of the press. The response starts Sunday night with Valiant Renegade, and they're going to actually show off the actual cease and desist letter. Uh, how I talked about one that was ousted from the community, Vanessa, otherwise known as Gothic, uh, I will never be the right type of black, and honestly, I don't want to be. And that's what it was. She was working with them, she left, and got nothing but vitriol from the Black Girl Gamers and their community because she left and didn't want to sit there and hate on white 
people because of it. Now, Vanessa's statement on all this, as a former Black Girl Gamer member, I can confidently say these people are full of crap. They do not care about diversity. They promptly kicked me out for being anti-Black, aka not making an idol out of my own skin color, refusing to hate white people. I was harassed for months after the fact and received an out onslaught of vitriol from many of their black members. You know how black girls gamers responded. They blocked me and literally scrubbed my existence off their platforms. By the way, most of the vitriol I received from many of their members made its way to the final cut of the gothic documentary. So if they want to talk about receipts, boohoo. I have them. Another thing that I came across as a post, um, someone asking why are white men uh, mad at black girls gamers for being black girl gamers? And he gets respond, you are not looking for an answer. You're looking for an excuse to call N word racist because this has nothing to do with white men at all. Bro, what the F are you talking about? I literally asked a question because it's been on my timeline and I didn't know what is happening. I responded that way because you and I both know you're not asking in good faith. Black girl gamers are getting roasted as they should for injecting themselves into something that had nothing to do with them. And when they got caught the heat they were asking for because they're stupid, they threatened to take legal action against us with skeletons in their own closet and no legal grounds to stand on. The article in question, Forspoken Consultation, Black Girl Gamer appear to discriminate in their hiring practices while claiming they're being harassed. Well, this is where we are today. They are continuing this. They're trending on Twitter now. They're saying they're celebrating they're trending on Twitter over this entirety. And they're celebrating for the exact wrong reasons. They're celebrating for discrimination and it's absolutely saddening to see that this is where the video game industry is going if a course isn't corrected. This is where we're, the dark path, it is falling down and where we're going to see video games go. No longer are you allowed to have the options as per uh, the CEO of Black Girls Gamers. They, you must play the game, you must write the story that they want to hear, and you have to enjoy it. That's the narrative that, they're, that all of these places are trying to push right now. The narrative design studios are trying to push the picky babies that we are as gamers are going to continue playing the games we want to play and escape the reality of this absolute nightmare content of the westernized world. This is, it, it, it's just too much some days. It really is. I'm here for a long time. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm going to do what I can to try and continue covering this story. Um, so do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you again very soon.